All right, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, that by Yahweh which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double line to the apostles of Great Millstone. Who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, you know, just um, thinking, uh, you know, meditating, you know, how we're supposed to stay, you know, in 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 the in a righteous mind frame, man. You know, that's how we, um, you know, that's how we stay uh, 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 away from evil thoughts. That's how we stay from, um, you know. Stay, stay in a uh, from carnal, carnal, mortal thoughts. Is you know just by constantly meditating, constantly you know reading the scriptures, watching videos. Hey, cause this is this is this is our lives, man. This is all we got. Okay, this is uh, this is the uh, salvation, eternal life, man. So you know, as the scripture says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my mind be acceptable in thy sight. You know, so that's how we want to be, man. We want to always be. To the best of our ability, always have Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai on our mind, you know, some way, shape, or form, man. Whether it's praying, whether it's meditating, whether whether it's uh, reading the scriptures, whether it's watching brothers' videos, whether it's, you know, talking to brothers, um, whether it's, uh, you know, watching news, you know, prophecy. These things are what we're supposed to um, be occupied in, you know. So, uh, you know, I was on the train coming home. And I was just, uh, you know, just thinking, meditating on how this up and coming uh, transition from, you know, this current life, this current age that we're living in to the next, you know, how how much of a, how, how grand the magnitude of, you know, what the Lord is going to do on this earth, you know, because, you know, everybody has their different opinions about things or whether it be political whether it be uh, so-called religious, um, you know, so-called societal, different cultures, so on and so forth. You know, this, you know, Esau says it's about like, what, 8 billion people on the earth. And, you know, everybody has their own uh, opinion about things, you know. But, hey, when Yahweh Shah returns, man, <laughs> everybody's opinion is going out the door. Okay? Everybody's how everybody wants to live and how everybody think that they should be living, all that's going out the door, man. And you got to just, you got to put that in, into perspective, man. All right. As we know, you know, a lot of billions of people are going to die. All right. Whether it be by the, by the, uh, you know, pestilence, by the famines, whether it be by the, you know, the sword, and, you know, ultimately, whether it be by the second death that's going to come upon this earth. You know, Esau, like I said, Esau says it's about 8 billion people on this, on this, on a, on a earth. That number is going to get cut dr dramatically, man. All right. As the scripture says in 2nd Ezra, it's the 8th chapter. This world was for many, but the world to come is for a few. All right. But with that being said, there's still going to be a lot of people on the earth. But of those, of those people are all are going to be <laughs> thinking the same way, all right, they're all, as the scripture says, all knees are going to bow to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all knees are going to bow to Yahweh Shai when he, when he returns, there's not going to be one knee, one person that's going to not bow to the Lord, man, so that means everybody on the earth is going to be under the same vibration of seeing Yahweh Shai as their Lord, as their king, because what does it say in Luke in 1927? Those my enemies that would that would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay before me. So we're going to get rid of, okay? We're going to get rid of anybody anybody that has a, a thought outside of what of of being complete obedience to Yahweh Shai. They're going to be examples of to the people that are left, okay? What happens if you if you have a thought? That goes against what Yahweh Shai wants. All right? Everybody is going to follow one order, one law. All right? What Esau is trying to accomplish is new world order. 
everybody's under his vibration. As the scripture says, when he's about to fill his belly, all right, he's going to be in straits. Yahweh Shai is going to fill that, man. All right? Yahweh Shai is going to fulfill the new world order, man. One law. Everybody is going to be under that, uh, under the vibration of Yahweh. Okay? Bahashim Yahweh Shai. As it tells you in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. He's going to put everything under, underneath him. He's going to subdue everything underneath him, man. Hey, even the animals are going to be under a different vibration. So you know that that what is going to hit this place, the 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 catastrophe, the, the pandemic that's going to come when Yahweh Shai returns, you know it's going to be something on a on a way different scale, man. Why does why did the Lord say the scripture says that every eye shall see him? He's coming with a full force. All right, that this world has never seen this a power that this world has never witnessed, man. All right, every eye is going to see him, so it's not like it's going to be something like, oh, you know, there's a remote people over here in a in a, a island that's living the way that they still want to live. No, <laughs> no, that's going to be, it's not. That's not going to be a, a thought, man. Every single person that survives through the second death. Is going to be under the vibration of Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the whole world is going to reverence, acknowledge, and fear the, the Creator, man. Because right now, they don't do that. You look at these people, they don't think about the Creator. They don't think about Yahweh, all right? They don't think about, you know, uh, the fear of the Lord. But once Yahweh Shai is done <laughs> fulfilling the, the, the Father's uh, will, Every single day is going to be on the minds of these uh, heathens and on, on us because the Lord is going to, Lord willing, we be a hopeful elect. The Lord is going to change us and we're going to be perfect. But these heathens, man, they're, they're going to know Yahweh, man. And it's going to be so beautiful. It's going to be so, uh, man, this is going to be, this is going to be a, a, a whole different world, man. Every single thing is going to be different. You go, you know, you talk to 10 people right now. They all got their own opinions, own vain opinions about 10 different topics. All right. Some people like this. Some people have this type of political idea. Some people have this type of cultural idea. Some people have this type of uh, 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 um, social idea of what they think society, society should be like. And the kingdom, everything is going to be under the vibration of of the Israelites, man. You're not going to... Even these heathens, when they go back to their own land, they're not going to go back to their own land and be, oh, just doing what the hell they want to do. No. Hell no. <laughs> they're not going to be having their own government and own governance, uh, 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 governing them own, their own selves under their own law. No, man. They're going to They're going to be living in accordance to what the Israelites are doing, man, what the house of David is doing, all right? So you know, like I said, man, like I was meditating uh, meditating on, is so you know that the the transition, the, the scale of what's about to happen is going to be so dynamic, man, to have every single human being on the planet that's left to be their minds completely changed in all Everybody's going to be thinking, is going to be uh, thinking the same way. Now, they're not going to be able to fulfill because they're not going to have the law, statute, commandments in them as, as Israel will. So they're not going to be able to fulfill keeping the law. But guess what? That's what they're, that's what they're going to be um, striving to do. They're going to be striving to keep the law. But they won't be able to because they won't be made perfect. Okay? The new world order that's going to be upon the, the this earth forever is the, the world of Israel, man. The world of the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Reverencing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? It tells you in the scriptures that, you know, uh, if the Egyptians don't come up to, to, to uh, you know, worship the Lord during the feast, you know, the feast days, he's going to make it, he's going to cause a rain, a, a, a drought of rain, man. So the, the vibration of the Lord is going to be throughout the whole entire earth.
Okay? <laughs> it's gonna be out, it's gonna and, and if you don't do it, which these uh you know Satan's still gonna have a job to to plague these um heathens, if you don't do it, you're gonna get punished for it. But it's not like here now, in in this day and age where you don't gotta keep the, the these heathens don't gotta keep the, the Sabbath. Nothing happens. They can just do what they want. You don't gotta keep the feast days. Oh, you can just do what they do what you want. You know? That's not going to be in the kingdom, man. In the kingdom, everything is going to be in line with what Yahweh Bashim Yahusha wants. And everybody's mind is going to be conformed to that. All right? Or are you, are you going to be forced to conform to that? And if you don't conform to it, you're going to be um, you're going to be punished for it. And we, Lord willing, we are those men. Our jobs, being kings and judges, is 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 going out there and enforcing it, man. We're going to be enforcers. We're going to be out here judging, judging the nations and forcing them to be in 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 in, in order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. That's a that's a great a great honor, man, because it's going to be complete righteousness. It ain't like we're going to be forcing uh, evilness, man. No, we're going to be putting life on the earth, man. When we get the kingdom, people are going to be living longer because of the for uh, of. Because we're going to force them to do righteous. Because these heathens, they don't want to. They, they're they're not programmed to do righteous. They're programmed to do to 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 do whatever their hearts desires, to to fulfill the lust of their flesh. But in the kingdom, we're going to go out and force people to be righteous, man. Force the world, the earth, to be under a righteous vibration. And then once that happens, it's going to show forth by way of the beautifying of the earth, man. Because the earth, once once it's under a righteous uh, vibration, is going to be Eden. It's going to be paradise again. So that's what we're going to be, man. We're going to be enforcers of righteous of enforcers of righteousness, and everybody's going to have to be under that rule, man, under that order. So you know, I was just meditating on that, man. Hey, the 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 the, you know, the calamities, the things that the Lord is bringing to this place to in order to get this thing started to to change the mindsets of everybody. You know, it's, it, it, it's going to be on a scale that has never been upon the earth. That's why the scripture says that. It's going to be a time like has never been upon the earth, man. You know, because I was even thinking about, you know, 9-11. You know, that was a so-called traumatic event that will, that has reshaped reshaped uh, uh, America. But guess what? People still go on airplanes. People are, are still not so-called really uh, uh, scared of, you know, uh, um, terrorists. All right. But, and that was something that, you know, never, you know how they go, never forget. But that, that was, that's not going to be even compared to, uh, uh, it's not going to be a little grain of, grain of salt to what the Lord got coming to this place. That's going to completely change everybody's mind frame, man. You know, so I was just thinking about that. Um, you know, just uh, want to put that out there. Lord willing, you know, just edifying to the elect once again, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for you know, for putting his vibration, for putting his vibration on this earth, man. Okay? It's going to be a righteous and a beautiful vibration, man. All right? So with that, Shalom.